I used to set daily targets. I used to set targets to complete books and solve questions within time constraints. I used to set targets to complete tests and perform error analysis to get the maximum number of questions correct in the least amount of time. Hi everyone, I am Rishi Shekhar Shukla, a classroom student for the two-year J Mains and Advanced Examination program at Akash Institute. I live in Telangana, Hyderabad. I came to know about Akash Institute through the ANTHE exam. I choose Akash for my J Mains and Advanced preparation because the classroom environment given there is friendly to me. Also, Akash has provided me with the freedom to study according to my convenience. I chose engineering as my profession because. I had a personal interest in physics, chemistry and the subjects of mathematics. Also, my parents were from engineering background. Hence, I could receive their full support for this. My preparation strategy for the joint entrance examination consisted of four steps. The first step was listening to the lectured or the concept that was being taught or delivered by the teacher in his class. The next step that I focused in my preparation was uh, solving the pr uh, problems for my practicing based on the concept. The third step was clearing all of my doubts related to the concept with my teacher. The fourth step in the process was the carrying out the error analysis based on all of the questions that went wrong in the test that I had given based on that concept. And these are the four processes that I repeat for each and every concept in each and every lesson that is being learned and taught. My teachers provided me with the right resources, with the right confidence and the right motivation to work hard in the right direction. They gave me the correct confidence and the required amount of motivation so that I could feel happy with my preparation. During the last months, Akash came up with the final test series for the JE and the archive test series for the JE. These were the two test series that gave me a real-time computer type based environment simulation. These helped me boost my confidence. I corrected my mistakes, came to know about my weak areas, worked hard on them and, on, and only went on ahead. This gave me the required energy and the required amount of confidence to fight at the final day of examination. A parent's role in a person's life is very essential. It is very much like a teacher that the parent's debt cannot be repaid. My parents were very helpful throughout my JE journey. They also made many sacrifices throughout my JE journey. They never attended cultural activities, parties, functions. They never used to switch on the TV to watch shows, to listen to cricket matches going on. These are the sacrifices that I will always remember. My mother used to sit with me apart from her working hours to study with me and this act of her motivated me in fact to study even harder. My father also sacrificed his sleep so that I would be able to study better. Yes, it is indeed true that the world that we live in is full of distractions. But once the goal has been set, distractions should always be avoided. I tried my best to avoid all possible distractions during my JE journey. However, during my initial phase of the JE preparation in class 11, I did enjoy some of the social media posts on WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter. But that too was for a limited amount of time, only for leisure and relaxation from my hectic schedule. I used to set daily targets. I used to set targets to complete books and solve questions within time constraints. I used to set targets to complete tests and perform error analysis to get the maximum number of questions correct in the least amount of time. This not only helped to improve speed and accuracy, but this was also my method to maintain myself in discipline throughout my JE preparation. I used to watch movies like The Theory of Everything by the scientist Stephen Hawking. This was about the life of one of the greatest scientists and successful persons. It was a show that inspired me not only to work hard for my J preparation, but was also a lesson for life. I used to watch these kind of shows only for a limited amount of time, only for leisure and relaxation from the schedule. In the end, I ended up maintaining balance between the healthy forms of enjoyment and between the hard work related to my J journey and preparation. I always prefer self-study over combined study with our friends. This is because in the end, it is a single person who has to go and appear for the J examination. It's not, not a group of persons. So, self-study not only helps us to boost our confidence, also we feel happy when at the end we solve a difficult problem. This fills us with enthusiasm and the confidence to move ahead during our journey. Every person has strengths and weaknesses. Whilst having strengths is very beneficial, improvising on weaknesses is in fact much more better than focusing on strengths. And yes, even I did have weaknesses during my J journey. 
These were the topics that include the topics based on rote memorization such as inorganic chemistry, topics related to the biomolecules, polymers and chemistry in everyday life. In physics, I had some memorization problems with semiconductor, diodes and uh, the electromagnetic theory of waves. In maths too, a few formulas I found were difficult to memorize, while most of maths was not based upon memorization. I enjoyed maths a lot. I am a morning person and I like to study during the morning hours and I do not prefer late night study. I also do not like to sacrifice my sleep because a sleep plays a very important role in the JE aspirant's life. A good sleep of 7 to 8 hours is essential for our brain and minds to function properly. A good sleep helps in retention of memory power and also enables us to perform better. My advice to the JE aspirants would be to work hard and never give up. Indeed, working hard and consistency in maintaining their hard work also apart from perseverance and sheer determination are the keys to success in our JE journey. Thank you and all the very best.